Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabi of 4 Explain America, and we have breaking news out of the House of Representatives where Representative Jamal Bowman, who pulled that fire alarm during a vote, well, he just learned his fate. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So Bowman is sitting there in, you know, in the, in the House today, and he's going to learn his punishment, and there's a vote taking place about his punishment and you got to know he didn't like this at all and he's now become the third democrat that this particular congress has given this same punishment to bowman i have an issue with this punishment and i'm going to tell you about it after you watch this clip let's take a look hey guys and thank you very much we're going to begin with a fox news alert uh, actions have consequences that is true Believe it or not, the House just passed a resolution to censure squad member Jamal Bowman for pulling a Capitol building fire alarm back in September. It forced an evacuation of the building. It also created quite the chaos as Congress rushed to head off a government shutdown. Uh, the New York Democrat is now the 28th lawmaker ever censured in history. You are watching the Faulkner Focus. I'm Julie Banderas in for Harris today. So it was all caught on video. I would imagine that would why would be why he pled guilty because uh, he got caught. Bowman, a former middle school principal, says he was simply trying to open a door clearly marked as off limits. He pled guilty to a misdemeanor charge and he also paid a one thousand dollar fine. That's the max fine on that. Bowman continues to deny, though, that he was trying to delay the spending bill vote. Jim Jordan, confident the censure motion would pass. I think it's sort of maybe more broader, more emblematic of just how crazy things have gotten here in the Biden administration. I mean, you got a, you got a Department of Justice that says parents are terrorists. You got an FBI that says if you're Catholic, you're extremist. And you got members of Congress pulling a firearm to disrupt a vote on the House floor, for goodness sake. All right. So they voted and it passed. So now that he's been censured, he now joins fellow Democrats, Adam Schiff and Rashida Tlaib, both censured earlier this year. Now, his public rebuke would come just days after the House gave Republican George Santos the boot. His expulsion, however, narrowing the GOP's slim majority. It's going to shrink even more in January when former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy departs. He announced his resignation plan yesterday. House Republicans will only be able to lose three votes and still pass a bill once McCarthy steps down. More departures are also looming, with members saying that they are just simply fed up with all the chaos. And these are all the names of people not seeking re-election. More than 40 lawmakers, in fact, in total, saying that they're not going to seek re-election. Senior congressional correspondent Chad Pergram with more on how the Bowman drama is playing out. Whoa, that was a quick one. Uh, he is censured. Explain to our viewers exactly what censure means. I know it's, you know, the most serious just short of expulsion. But really, it's a slap on the wrist because he still has his job. He doesn't get kicked out. You know, being censured is a massive deal. And I think that it was, you know, it was good of the Republicans to do it. But I also think you have to keep in mind, you know, George Santos was kicked out. And Republicans, all they do is censure people, which is basically a slap on the wrist and telling them, no, 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 don't do it again. On the other hand, had they kicked him out, he comes back, he's going to get reelected in his community, and now he's a martyr. Now he's got more power. He's got more say. He's got a higher profile. So all in all, they probably made the correct decision here, but I want to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comments. Also, please remember to like and share because it does really help us out. And of course, subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.